Welcome back to Dark Souls. I am Mislet, and I feel a little bad about using this bonfire because that is pure meta knowledge that there is no reason, no reason our girl should know about. But I think I'm over it. Um, not having to run back 5,000 times, I think, is worth using a little bit of meta knowledge to save us, you know, some time. Like, we know we can do it. It's just a matter of... I don't want to have to every time. Okay, so we're here. So there's no good way back to this bonfire, huh? Alright, so we're back right here. Where we were a minute ago. That's a very interesting bonfire location then, isn't it? Wait. What's going on here? Where is our giant dude throwing fireballs? Oh, there he is! <laughs> move. Move, 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 move. Be afraid. More titanite shards. Anything this way. I don't know. Let's run over here and find out. Oh, that's a... Giant knight. Oh my goodness. Hi there, um... Giant knight dude. Let me stab you. That didn't hurt much, did it? This is one of those guys that was in the parish. Looks like, at least. I think it's the same guy. Knight. Oh my goodness, look at that stamina hit. Look at that stamina hit. Let's not get hit by him by that again. This could take a while. At least we're not on a bridge where, like, we can roll off. So I forget about this fight. What? Oh, that was arrogant of me. Super cocky. Don't do that. You know the Dark Souls mantra, don't get cocky. At least that's my Dark Souls mantra. I think the actual Dark Souls mantra is... Fall down seven times, get up eight. But I'm sure that was also made up by some player. I don't think it's in the game anywhere. But I like it as well. Large Titanite Shard X. We've got like five of those in the past couple minutes. Anything else over here? Yes, there is. What is down there? Climb down. I'm... Alright. Let's do this. Let us... Slide down. There you go. Shield up. Out of fear. Look down there. That's where we came from. I'm not sure. I should heal up. Because why not? Oh, hello. I think I should keep doing this all day. If I ran out of stamina, I probably could have. Whoa. It's a pretty sword. You have a good amount of health. Okay, so when we get close, he breaks out his sword. When he backs up, he uses his bow. That's pretty smart of him. Oh, man. That... Some stamina drag there. He's crazy. Are you trying to heal? What are you doing? Alright, so that's some dude we just killed. Ricard's Rapier. Got 4,000 souls for that. Fantastic. Let us... Uh, this is a safe location to do this. And let's look at that weapon. I mean, I can't imagine it's any better than what we have, but let's look at it anyway. The card's rapier does 70 damage. Plus 36 thrust is a thrusting weapon. Scales well with dex. Physical damage reduction 45%. That's actually kind of impressive. Alright, does it have a thrusting sword? A rapier with intricate decorations. Chosen weapon of the infamous undead Prince Ricard. Ricard's exploits are told in a monomyth. He was born into royalty, but wandered the lands in an ill fate, but in a fateful, ill-conceived journey. 
he became undead and disappeared up north. So this is just some dude. Alright. That's interesting. And we got his weapon. And there's a chest. Two chests. Both look terrifying. Do they look the same? So someone said you can tell the mimic chest by looking at the chains. These look the same though, so I think we're okay. Actually, let's heal up. In case we're not. In case they're both mimics. How awful would that be? No. Okay, we're good. What do we have? Rare Ring of Sacrifice. I don't know what that does. And... Divine Blessing. I don't know what that is either. More inventory time. I guess I'm let's browse. Um... Fully restore HP and undo irregularities. What does that actually mean? Holy water from Goddess Guinevere. Fully restore HP and undo irregularities. The Goddess of Sunlight, Guinevere, daughter of the great Lord of Sunlight, Gwyn, is cherished by all as a symbol of bounty and fertility. So she heals status elements, I guess? What's the other thing we just got that I wasn't actually paying attention to? There was no weapon. What was it? Oh, it was a ring. Great, a rare ring of sacrifice. Die, lose nothing, nullify curse, ring breaks. Wow. All right. This mystical ring was created in a sacrificial rite of Velka, the goddess of sin. Magenta-shaded ring is especially rare. It's rare wearer will lose nothing upon death and will be freed from any curse whatsoever but the ring itself breaks. Okay. The regular ring of sacrifice doesn't break curse, I don't think. Because on a ring of sacrifice you don't lose your um, souls or humanity when you die. So I guess a rare ring of sacrifice does the same thing but also breaks curses. And there is a giant who's just chilling. Is that the guy throwing fireballs? Or is that something else? Use our vantage point to scope out things as our spear clips through the wall. That looks important that way, doesn't it? Also looks bricked off. Or maybe that's just depth perception being bad. I can't tell. Alright, let us go back where we came from and see which way we should have actually gone that's cool we got a ring we got some divine blessing we only have three Estus flask left now where was I supposed to go oh, up here I'm sure okay Wait, what? Oh, there's a bridge right here. <laughs> I was like, what is- Oh! Come on. Like, same thing hit you three times. That's not cool. Not cool at all, giant stone man. Oh, there's something over there. There's something over there. So where's this guy throwing stuff from? Who knows? Who knows? There's our other giant. Okay. Does that mean there's three giants? Oh. Why, hello. I appreciate you not stabbing me in the back while I wasn't even looking your direction. It's very kind of you. With your little shield, probably better equipped for these small corridors. Stamina back up. Back up. What? No, buddy. It's not how we do. You see the range I've got with this thing? Alright, so we could go this way. 
which looks terrifying because there are those cells right there. Do they open or anything? Yes, they do. It's locked. It's locked. I have like a master. I got a master key. Don't that like work? Worst master key ever. All right. So we need a key. That's probably a shortcut. That is probably a shortcut down to somewhere. And this looks like a death trap. Doesn't it? Where's our... Oh, I see him. Man, it's like a death trap. Yeah, it does. Oh, man, it's going to kill us. I know somebody's shooting arrows at us. Alright, we're good. Are you a Balder Knight shooting arrows? That's new. Whoa, now. Alright, what's this say? Imminent dark right. Whoa. Look at that. Alright. So I'm guessing that's the boss. Let's ignore the crap out of that for now. And this... Is a giant. Get away. Is he doing anything? Oh, we, oh man, look at that. Nope. Like, can we hit him from here? And we can get hit too. Okay. So we can hit him from here and we can get hit. That's not good. Because he swings right through that wall like it's nothing going on. Let's ignore that for a minute. I'm gonna guess, because he's so close to this boss, that he will throw a mess at you in the boss fight. So we probably do want to deal with him before we fight the boss. But for now, let's run across here. Before he hits us in the back, shield up. Nothing over here? Really? Still surprising, honestly. Hi, buddy. How are you? He probably has 8 million health. If I had a real bow, I might could kill him. Alright, so... Hmm. Um, let us... Yep, that's a boss if I ever saw one. Look at that axe. That is ridiculous. All right. Let us. Let us try. How's this going to work? All right, let's heal up. We're out of healing stuff. Can we get him to attack us here and then hit him from this doorway? Does that work? Is that a note? I can't tell what he's doing. Hi. Whoa. He stomps. Okay. And then he does whatever that was right there. Oh, but then he gets down because he's all... All right, move. All right, I feel you. I feel you. So we need to get him to attack some. Move. So he attacks some, then he tires himself out. Okay, I got you. I got you. We gotta make sure he does the whole thing. 
somehow. So I'm not sure how to trigger him to go into crazy attack mode. I wonder if you have to do it before he picks up another boulder. Does that make sense, right? I'm shaking my whole screen. You're just gonna be like, I detect your video is shaking. Would you like us to fix it for you? Oh no! Alright, so we, we just did the stomping, that's good, right? Where's his health at? Oh, don't get in there with him. Oh, he's still going. Okay. I thought we had him. Okay, so you gotta get him to stomp. There we go. Check that out. Titanite Chunk. Which I suspect is even better than the Titanite Shards we had. Let's look. Let us look at it. Where would that be at? Better, here we go. I just skipped past it by accident. What'd I do? Oh, here we go. Titanite Chunk plus 14 reinforced standard weapon. Okay, so Titanite Shards get you from plus 1 to plus 5, large Titanite Shards from plus 5 from 6 to 10, and Titanite Chunks must be from 11 to 15. Or 14, I guess. Wonder what gets you to 15. Here's our Dragon Scale we got before. We didn't actually look at it. Dragon Scale for reinforcing Dragon Weapons. Peeled from an ancient dragon. The dragon is inseparable from its scales, and the trans transcendent apostles who seek the Perpetuity of the ancient dragons have crossed the very end of the earth to seek this invaluable treasure. Interesting. Alright, so we have no Estus. We did kill this guy though. Okay, so we killed this guy. So before we fight, I'm not scared. That's not why I'm uh, not going to fight him at all. I. How do I get out of here? There it is. <laughs> Where's the exit at? Alright. So before, there's an area over here where we could, um... There's like a door right there. See that doorway across that little bridge? But the guy was throwing firebombs at us the whole time? Let us see if we can get over there now. I mean, I'm probably going to miss the jump, but let's pretend I'm not going to miss the jump. And go do that. And I assume this is locked till I get a key, right? Not just because it hadn't beaten that guy? Right, okay. Alright, and this is this. Alright, so... Let us run. Oh, I didn't make it. But I found a sniper crossbow. Found a sniper crossbow. Let us eat a humanity to live. Alright. So this is where I was earlier. Gotcha. We'll just run back up top. Oh, he's back. Or it's another one. I guess he's back? Why is he back? Oh, this is Okay, sorry. We rested a bonfire since we saw him. My bad. That was last time. That was last video, not this one. Um, uh, stamina. Hitting these guys' um, shields, like, really drains your stamina quickly. You know, it's like, don't miss. Do not miss. Balder and Gauntlets. I guess I can s basically sell them to Giant Snake Man. Alright. So this should all be much safer. Beware of projectile. Yeah, I'll upload that. 
Where of giant flaming rock. So we go here. Alright. I'm just trying to make that jump is all I am doing. Alright, I guess I'm just too... I don't even know. There we go. Alright, made the jump. I wonder what that blood stain was. I'm very curious. Did something in here murder your face? Well, there's a guy. Hel hello. Are you... You look human. <sighs> ah, what? What? Who, who are you? Ah, now I'm dead, eh? I took my son's fortress alone. But I'm no different from those vile creatures. I was driven by conceit. Ah, you think you're different? That you can handle them? Yes, I, I remember that feeling. For I was the same. So, let me help you out. With your soul searching. Okay, what's he sell? Black fire bombs, green blossom, temporary boost to stamina recovery speed. Cool. Large titanite shards. Excellent. That's fantastic. Four thousand souls for that. Plus five green titanite shards for magic divine fire weapon. Okay. Great swords, balder shield, tower. Okay. Arrows, feather arrow. What is that? Maybe greater critical hits? Nope. Large arrow has the same. Red feather arrows of the Lord's Hunters. Their long range makes them effective for sniping. Oh, they're long, better range. Okay. Cool deal. Katarina Helm. These are from the, um, that giant guy who was outside Sims Fortress. Who we haven't seen since. All his gear. Okay. Thunder stone plate ring. And spell stone plate ring. So the same thing as our fire one. Except, you know, not. Alright, so he will sell us shards. Let's see what else he has to say. There's nothing more to say. I'm finished. We're both on the brink, you see. End of story. You bloody fool. Is that it? Let me give you a nibble of advice. Don't even consider visiting Amorondo. Not in your state. For a century they've tried and failed. The Night King Rendell, Black Iron Tarkas, and even Logan himself. You won't stand a chance, you'll be eaten alive. But go along if you wish. If only to deepen your despair. Let me give you a... Don't even... He's very cheery, isn't he? Yes, we saw that. Okay. Nothing at all. Fine then. Rush in like a naked baby, be skinned alive. So this gentleman sounds like someone who used to be like us, came here for whatever reason, failed, saw a bunch of other people fail, and is now just trying to hold on to just trying to hold on to his humanity by selling stuff to other people who come through. What is this? Where are we at? Oh, well, hello. I kind of moved, not... That's what you got for us. Come on now, don't, don't be like that. Alright, what do we have here? Cage key. Excellent. Excellent. See, I thought it might be over here. I thought it might be over here. So we can go back to that cage and see what that does. I assume it is a shortcut. I assume we will find out, though. I'm not quite sure where it will take us. 
Oh, of course, here's the big, bigger thing. Can I even do... Can I do this jump? To get back? Probably not. Alright, so this may kill us. Whatever. If it does, we go get our souls and we'll be fine. There we go. Alright. So I'm going to open this cage and see what's going on. Then I am going to go back to the bonfire. Unless this goes somewhere interesting. Okay, where are we going? What? Are we back at the very beginning? Oh, yeah. Hi there, are you coming? Just say hello? No? Are you, you're not coming? At all. There you go. Okay, that's got it. Oh, no. Oh, we're gonna die. That's right. All right. I said, is this back at the beginning of the whole everything? Because if so, that's neat. It appears to be that's our shortcut through the entirety of Sin's fortress. Do you see that guy just fall down? I'm going to assume YouTube made it too dark to see, but. If not, back up the video a couple seconds and look at this guy just like flop to the ground like he's faking death. He's like, oh crap, I'm not really dead, but that dude's gonna murder me. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back to the bonfire to get some Estus back and heal up. Then I'm going to cut the video back to that uh, fog wall and we will take one shot at that giant thing. So I will see you in a moment. No cutscene for this, and I see Iron Golem. Okay. Great. I don't know what to do with this. Look at that. I can't imagine you can block anything he does, right? <laughs> All right. All right, we'll do it again. I know I said one shot at him, but he just knocked us off the cliff in one hit. So I will, we'll do that again. Be right back. All right, one more go. Can I get under him, Jason? Yep. Oh. Okay. Okay, again. Yeah, that's the uh, iron golem. Yep. I feel this might take a few tries. May take a few tries. The next video may just be one giant um cutscene of death. We'll see. See how many times it takes. All right, I am Mislid. This has been Dark Souls. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.